The July trading post came out four days ago, which means I'm late to the party here, but there are a lot of interesting items up for grabs, including three mounts. Keep an eye out, by the way, for when I drop my July trading post speed run later on. So let's go over all of the items available from the trading post this month. First and foremost, as a reward for getting 1400 points in your traveler's log, you get the Grotto Netherwing Drake, a new dragon riding mount, which is actually the mount that you've been watching me fly around on during this intro. Now let's head right over to the rewards that we can buy with Trader's Tender, including Tyriel's Charger, just in case you missed it during the Diablo 4 event that was happening last month. It's 900 Trader's Tender, but I think it's well worth it. Hey there, Rotan here. I make to-the-point videos about World of Warcraft, helping people obtain collectibles, cosmetics, and mounts that they want easily and quickly. If that sounds like a fun time, subscribe. Next up we have the Sylvan Stalker's Leathers, which is the same model, just a recolor of the Legion Crafted as well as Combatant PvP set. After the Sylvan's Leathers, we have the Spectral Tiger Cub. I don't think this is actually a battle pet, just a normal companion that you can have around. Pretty cool though, especially if you like Spirit Beast as a hunter. Now we're on to the second mount that you can purchase with Trader's Tender, the Reigns of the Fell Crystal Scorpion. I think this mount looks really cool, but once again, it's just another recolor of something that we already have that seems to be a theme with the trading post in general. Now we have a new staff, the Antoran Fell Spire. I think it's pretty cool. I'm not a caster, so not a big opinion here. Conquest, however, is the item that I actually wound up freezing because I didn't have enough tender for it. It's a recolor of the Armageddon two-handed sword, which is one of my favorite ones in the game, so I'm happy about this. The Aldorai War Mace is a cool addition as well. You can see here the flavor text talks about the Aldor and the Scryers from Shatrath City back in Burning Crusade. Up next, we have a shield, the Filigreed Lion's Maw, which looks pretty neat. Uh, the lion's mouth actually opens and closes, which you might have seen there very briefly. Up next, we have two helmets, one of the Fierce and one of the Swift. Fierce is for Balog and Swift is for Eric. Those are two of the three lost Vikings from the Uldamon dungeon or from Blizzard's first ever arcade game, which was like a three-player arcade game. Um, I don't see the third helmet in here, though. So very interesting. So maybe that'll come in the August trading post. Mephistroth's Razor is actually a recolor of another item, a Netheron's Edge, I believe it's called. You can see the image here on the screen. I think it's pretty cool as a one-handed sword item, especially for rogues. Moving quickly on to the Fists of Polar Fury. This is a pretty common fist weapon. You see a lot of shamans use it, that bear face, the bear maw fist weapon. The Sinister Fell Staff has a cool flavor text. It says it's been handed down between timelines, so I wonder if this will be shown elsewhere or if this is just a take on Gul'dan's staff before it got crazy. The two cloak options we have this month are violet, so once again we've had different colors each month. This month is violet. I think it's pretty cool overall. Now we're on to the silvered war cloak, which is apparently from Gilnea, so it's like a Gilnean war cloak. It does look very alliance themed, so if you're on alliance, I bet you like that one. The polished short sword also looks like it's a pretty alliance-centric sword if you're trying to, I don't know, make an outfit that looked like an old knight or like an alliance knight. The fabulously flashy finery, that's fun to say. Uh, just another tuxedo item. We've had a couple of these over the past few months. And finally, we have the Primeval Basher, which is just a recolor of a hammer model that's already in the game that looks like it comes from Neltharion's Lair or something dealing with the High Mountain, the like Drargul or whatever the race is called. So those are all the trading post items for this month. That'd be the July trading post. The theme is Celebration. I really enjoy a lot of them. There are three mounts to get this month, including the reward from maxing out your traveler's log. And as a mount collector, I really enjoy when they have multiple mounts in a month that I can get very easily. That's all. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time and take care.